don't, we don't march and protest because we like to march and protest. All we want to do is be free. Sean King. New York. Sean King. Good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. You know, for a few minutes this morning, I just want to demonstrate the power of local elections. When we talk about presidential elections, we even talk about how important congressional races are. But I want to talk about just the power of what's going on in your own city, and your own state. On this past Tuesday, a dangerous vote took place in North Carolina where the state legislature passed House Bill 370. And it's doing something that we're seeing happening all over the country. In North Carolina, at least seven different elected sheriffs have said that they will not cooperate with ICE and that when a person is arrested or charged with the crime, mind you, one they have not yet been convicted of, these seven different sheriffs said they're not going to turn people over to immigration when they arrest or charge people. So conservatives who control the legislature in North Carolina voted. And the, the bill they passed, House Bill 370, is going to force local sheriffs to make those arrests and turn people over to ICE. Or the bill said, and it passed, said that they will remove those sheriffs from office. But yesterday, just one day after the bill passed, the Repub- after it just passed the Republican-controlled House there in North Carolina, the Democratic governor there, Roy Cooper, who's a good guy, vetoed the bill. But here's the thing. At their root, conservatives aren't really even conservative. And I don't even know what that means, because unless it means that they exist to protect white power, I don't know what they're conserving. For the entire Obama administration, you may remember Republicans called themselves fiscal conservatives. They created this fraudulent group that has basically disappeared now called the Tea Party. It said they demanded that Obama reduce the national debt, reduce the national deficit. And for all eight years of his administration, they said that nothing was more important than paying down the national debt and stopping excessive spending. And even the Obama administration kind of fell for it to a degree. They cut spending all over the place and they paid the debt down to $600 billion. The debt was over $1 trillion when Obama took office. And they cut the deficit by $400 billion, which was not easy. And in two and a half years, guess what Trump has done? He slashed taxes for billionaires and corporations. He increased spending on endless wars in the military, wrote huge checks to mega farmers. And now in just two and a half years, guess where the national debt is again? Right back over $1 trillion. He has increased it by $400 billion. It was the single largest increase in national debt in the first two years of any presidency ever. And all of a sudden, conservatives no longer care about debt. It's because it was all a ruse. Since I was a little boy, I was told that Republicans, all they really cared about was morality and integrity, and that this is why they voted to impeach Bill Clinton, because he lied and he had an affair, because Republicans love strong character and integrity and family values. You remember they used to talk about family values? Because they cared about that so much, they just couldn't take what Bill Clinton did and had to impeach him. Then for eight years with Obama, we had a man in office with a spotless marriage. They were open Christians. They checked off all the conservative boxes of clean language and neat grooming and no divorces. They had two cute, smart kids. The conservatives didn't really care about his character or his morality or his decency or his integrity. Then they voted Donald Trump into office. And he is literally the most publicly unethical, immoral man of low character to be elected to the presidency in our lifetime. He's told now, and the Washington Post tracks his lies, he's told over 12,000 documented lies since he was elected. Some days he tells over 200 lies in a day. (laughs) Daily he attacks and demeans people. He's married to immigrants, but then now loathes immigrants of color, even though the Bible, which conservatives claim to love, has thousands of verses on caring for immigrants. He's been married and divorced and married and divorced and married and divorced again. He openly admitted on tape to sexually assaulting women. I'll stop there. You know who he is. These are all things that Republicans said they really cared about, but we know they don't care about those things. And what we see them doing now is something that goes against 150 years of conservative history where they said that they really believed in local control of government. 
From the Civil War until the past few months, conservatives have claimed over and over again that nothing was more important to them than local governments being able to make their own decisions without outside interference. But on Tuesday in North Carolina, their state house voted for something that goes completely against that. That bill, House Bill 370, it does the exact opposite. See, in North Carolina and in most states across the country, counties have two forms of law enforcement. They have the city police department and they have the county sheriff's office. And the city police department normally has a police chief who's appointed by the mayor. And the sheriff's office normally has a lead sheriff that is actually elected by the people. Well, we're starting to finally understand that if we want to change policing, we have to start caring about electing that sheriff. And all across North Carolina, at least seven sheriffs have been elected who said that they simply will not be cooperating with ICE. Now, that's the Federal Office of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. And these seven sheriffs announced that when undocumented immigrants are arrested or given speeding tickets, they're not going to turn these people over to immigration. And they shouldn't. First off, an arrest is not a conviction. A ticket is not a conviction. But secondly, families don't have to be destroyed and torn apart and people deported simply over an arrest. It's not right. But House Bill 370, from the Republicans controlling the state legislature, stated that sheriffs must turn people over to ICE or they'll be removed from office. And what we're seeing in North Carolina is really a war of values and the critical importance of of local elections. Here's the thing. Democrats voted in these local sheriffs, and they voted in sheriffs that have a heart. So those sheriffs aren't cooperating with ICE. But since the Republicans control the legislature, they tried to overrule those sheriffs. But since the governor is a Democrat, he overruled the Republicans. This is all of this is why voting matters. Every race matters. The sheriff's races matter. The state legislature races matter. And clearly, who we vote for as governor matters. And it clearly matters in North Carolina. Because Roy Cooper vetoed that ugly bill right away. And so just remember, as we talk about all of these presidential races, these local races for your state house, for your school board, for city council, for lieutenant governor and governor, all of that stuff matters. It might not get national attention, but we have to keep our eyes on the prize and be ready to vote the right people into office. Take care, everybody. I saw a, I saw a story on MSNBC yesterday about the number of uh, immigrants that are being detained right now, and there's no the limit man. on how long they can be detained before even getting a, getting a hearing. Right. And there's like 800,000 detainees, 800,000 immigrants who are detained. Adults now, and children. Adults and children. Yeah. And they're looking at up to three years of just being heard. Meanwhile, they've got to be detained. Now, who profits from this? Prison? prison oh, private, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, private prison. The majority of systems that are, that are detaining these immigrants are private prisons who are huge supporters of Donald Trump. Yeah, because they're making huge money. The Democratic candidate for president is immediately going to disband federal private prison contracts and um it's evil man what they're doing yeah what what they're doing and many of us may not be personally connected to people that are impacted by this and it allows it to be something like out of sight out of mind but right now hundreds of thousands of families are suffering because of the way trump and his evil administration are targeting immigrants and it's really not to make our country safe It's just to be cruel. It's just to appeal to his base, which more and more and more is just now flagrant white supremacist base. And they're they're not hiding that. This isn't about immigration. That's why they're not targeting Canadians or Europeans whose visas expire or anything else. This is all about targeting communities of color. And uh, they're doing it flagrantly for sure. It's awful. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sean. Stay on it. Take care, y'all. Okay. See you, Sean. Three years with no limit. That's oh, yeah. the average right yeah. now. Yeah. Wow. There's like 800,000 detainees by ICE right now. And are the kids getting schooled at all? No. No. 